you're going to push back, roll your back, do the hunchback. You got your double grapevine in here. And there's the technique. It's, it's, really, it's really nasty, it's really simple, it gets a lot of people. And it's all in just arching the back. And just because he's smaller, still, still works on bigger guys. Um, you know, anytime a guy puts his feet on the ground, which they might not do in a sports jiu-jitsu competition, but in MMA, they're looking for that bridge all the time as you're pounding them. So if you're pounding the guy and he's there, you can at least attack, you know, attack these legs, hunch over, base on the ground, and go for the tap out there. If he doesn't tap, you can always switch off to a catch style ankle lock, um, like my catch ankle lock from side mount. Bring one up, grab the top of the toes, and pull in here. Okay, very simple. A lot of times it's just one. Maybe I'm basing here, hitting here. If he just has one out, I'm going to look to bring that. Okay, and I can fall from here on my own shin. Okay, it's so all kinds of different ways. So look to attack the legs. So there's the hunchback, double ankle lock, double grapevine, ankle lock, leg lock, kind of stretchy thing, catch style, and then the catch ankle lock. Anywhere we're in here, maybe we're setting up our arm triangles. I'll go over in a minute. I'm trying to. Arm triangle the guy, Randy Couture, try to push that over, do the bump over and stuff against James Tony. But hey, man, don't forget about legs too, guys. Come in here, I can arch on my side, see how I turn my hip more this time. And there, and I can also push with my shin. So there's catch style, ankle lock from mount, and the hunchback, double ankle lock from mount. So keep those in mind.